Okay, now we're moving on to Callum, and he's going to uh, explain post-processing and heat treatments of our materials with the speed cell. All right, so when you have an X speed and it's deployed and we make our metal part, our parts are like coffee cups. They're strong, but they're brittle. That's where we have speed cell or why we have speed cell. So we can do the post-processing. We have two different types of furnaces inside the speed cell. Used for different materials for different things, but ultimately it's about making that solid metal part where we get our density of 99 plus percent. Okay, we've made it as simple as possible for a deployed environment. So like X-Speed, it operates under red light when the doors are open. Okay, and inside one of these parts, you can have something, large parts this size, okay, glowing red hot. Once we bring them out of the furnace, all we have to do is quench them in water. Okay, you have to do that immediately. You don't wait because we don't want it cooling down naturally. We want to get it in the water and force that cooling effect. Okay, so before I go in, I throw the goggles and gloves on. This is just standard PPE. It's nothing too demanding. This is going to be hot in here. Here's our part. Standing back, not too close, because a big waft of heat comes out. And now I stand in. And I bring the part out. And I bring it down into the bucket. There we go. What's the noise? That's fine. Shaking it about. There we go. The shaking stopped. I'm now going to close the door because that furnace is punching out some good heat. And I'll go back just to stirring my part around in the bucket. There we go. Leave that in there for a few minutes. Bring it out, and we now have, as long as it's been in there long enough, our fully dense, cast strength, and this is aluminium, aluminium part. There we go. 